Hello, uh, so this is just a very quick uh, video, a little brief introduction to a device that I picked up a little while back uh, because um, I'd stumbled across the concept of something which intrigued me about modern basic portable radios. Um, I can't remember which YouTube channel I saw it on, but the, the point that the guy made was that he'd picked up an, a cheap uh, radio with an analog tuning dial and um, it didn't act like you might expect it to. Um, so I had to sort of see, see it with my own eyes and I went out to pick up a cheap um, standard FM radio. I actually got this world band radio uh, from uh, a large Tesco. Uh, it's about eight pounds, I think, and it's available you know, at various different places. It doesn't have any branding. It's one of those kind of non-branded um, anonymous Chinese radios. It looks a bit weird. I've taken the back off just to have a look inside. It's a, a fairly standard, what you'd call a world band radio. It has FM, AM, long wave and various short wave bands. Um, and you know, for eight quid it performs pretty well. It's got a very plasticky body, um, but it's got a reasonable tone. Um, it does pick up, you know, all the stations that you would expect it to on FM. AM seems fine, long wave, it's difficult to know these days, and short wave, it does pick up various, you know, of the more um, loud stations, shall we say. Um, it's a tricky one to tune because you, you know, there is no auto-tune, um, as you may be used to on other shortwave radios, um, it goes back to the old days of, of tuning to the specific um, frequency you want to tune to, um, or as was my hope with a radio like this with um, analog tuning knobs on the side, um, I'd be able to tune up and up and down the shortwave bands listening out for little spikes of reception. Um, you can do that with this radio, but what's very strange about it, you have two knobs on the side, you've got volume and tuning. Um, what's very strange is if I turn it on, September of we'll next pick up, year, 2023. Um, Radio 4 um, on FM, really nice, strong, crisp reception. It actually doesn't even have an aerial attached at the moment because I've taken that off and it's picking up very clear Radio 4. What's very strange is when you start tuning around, uh, this is on the FM band obviously. I'll turn up the volume a little bit. difficult to hear but there's a sort of a sort of jump every time you turn the dial and it's the same on all bands if I go to medium wave you've got this kind of jump, this kind of click almost as you go up and down the bands. And what's basically happening, if I go all the way to some of the shortwave bands, and what's happening is there's actually a digital tuner inside this radio. It's not an analog radio at all. There's an analog dial, you're turning a dial and moving this quite nice bar up and down. But it's not actually turning a digital tuner inside the um, an analog tuner inside the radio it's turning a um, I guess a potentiometer that's then jumping up the frequency in um, certain uh, gradients uh, just as a digital radio would tune uh, ie a digital FM radio or a digital shortwave radio um, would be sort of jumping up and down the bands I'll go back to FM and that's the other weird thing when you change bands there's a brief um, there's a brief delay when it's kind of changing bands which is quite uncanny it's it's this sort of I don't know an analog radio or a digital radio in an analog costume so everything you do is kind of prefaced with this odd digital delay and it's just a really curious design choice what I found also quite interesting is because you're turning this dial 
and it's moving this nice little needle up and down the the, uh, the wave guide. Um, if I try and open up the radio, inside you have, as you would expect to find in an analog radio, um, a sort of string attached to uh, the. If I can just try and focus on that. Uh, a string attached to the tuning knob and to the needle. So you do have the um, the sort of physical manifestation of, a, of an old analog radio, and yet it's not connected to anything analog inside the radio. It's just turning a kind of digital tuning dial. That's kind of all I have to say about this radio at the moment. I've, kind of, I've not really dug much deeper into it. Um, it appears to be by a sort of uh, Chinese maker called... Uh, LILAC, I think, possibly LITAC, or possibly TTAC, and a model number of E3356 Radio V1.1, and it's got a production date of December 2017 on there. And so I'm guessing a lot of these radios have been uh, put together and um, sold to various different markets, um, they get rebadged, or in some cases not badged at all, um, and then just sold as, you know, a cheap box standard uh, world band radio. Um, but that's kind of all I have to say about this one. It's, as I say, not an awful radio. It's just a really weird one. I've just never come across an analog-esque radio that tunes in this way. very uncanny. Um, ironically it has meant that I wanted to uh, seek out a, um, a proper analog radio and I've actually got a few bits and bobs on order from um, uh, AliExpress at the moment shipping over from China just to see if, the, if you can still buy an analog tuning radio because what's quite nice about tuning around an analog radio is you, you can listen out for those little um, pulses of, of signal um, it does have a little, you know, uh, reception LED in the top corner, which seems fairly accurate, at least on FM. But I just want to be able to tune up and down the shortwave bands and um, and the FM bands and just see what I can find um, without having the radio kind of um, digitally tuning up and down for me. Um, anyway, that's kind of it, really. I just wanted to show off a weird feature of what could be all modern analog radios. Um, but it may be less common than I realise. Anyway, this was a very cheap radio, as I say, available from a big British supermarket called Tesco for about £8. And um, I would expect that this is the kind of bog standard um, type of radio that you can pick up anywhere at the moment. If, if, you know, if someone's going into a shop looking for an FM AM radio, particularly a shortwave radio, this is probably what you're going to find unless you start going for you know, Sony's and, and, and Robert's and the bigger brands um, who have been making radios for years and years and still are. Anyway, that's all really. Um, thanks for watching.